Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Econ here with your weekly update video for you guys. Hey, if you've on a free account, we're giving away a free account of 2.3k subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And don't forget to smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Also, the stream is going to be at 9 a.m. U.S. Central Time on Twitch, GMT negative six. I almost had a brain fart there. Uh, we'll be doing enrolls on Monica and whatever else we could do. Probably doing my spins for the jackpot and see how we do on that. So stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope to see you there. Uh, but we have a new Diana skin this week. I think she would have done it if it would have been better if she was in a dress. She doesn't really look that good. Like Sydney looks good in shorts, but Diana, I think she's a dress girl, but that's just my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think in the comments on what you think of she is, uh, um, can't talk today. She, you think she did, should be in shorts or a uh, dress? Damn, I can't talk today. I don't know what it is. But yeah, comment on that skin. I want to know what you guys think of it. All right, so the event time is going to be from the December 3rd to December 9th. That's the 2nd through the 8th for me. So if you're day behind, remember you're day behind. The other award is going to be 1 enroll and 10 energy. And, and rolls obviously for enroll event. And energy will be for the jackpot event, which we'll co just, um, cover in a second. Everything is the same here except for we get energy, which is 150 each round. And then Mika is at 60 points and 80 points is Monica. Mika is for early game accounts. Uh, when you're first starting out the game, she's the best one to build right now. So she's not food until you get to like end game uh, UL territory, like end game PvP, then she becomes food. But to so just know that she's not one year early, mid, and late game, essentially. Monica is going to be helping you with tests a lot and PvP. Those are her two main areas. She shines in both of them extremely well. She's extremely important in each one of those modes. So just be aware of that. Do not food your Monica's away. Girls Assembly, ladies and gentlemen, is where you get free stuff every month for just saving up your resources and using it on the event. So, oh, excuse me. If you don't have angels and demons to complete them, let's say you have uh, only one angel and two demon. It's okay if you want to skip, and that way next month for sure you can finish it. Uh, but you can finish your ghosts, fairy, monster, humans uh, as much as you want. Because usually those are a lot easier to obtain in the game. Those um, shards to open them up and get girls that way. But the angels and demons are a little bit harder for people. So you should probably just, if you can't finish it one month, save it for the next month. I know I made a mistake a long time ago doing this a couple times. So hey, just uh, save onto them. The reason why is because you get a girl at the end. This time it's Fenrir. Eh, she's okay. She's not that great. Uh, sometimes they give us a good girl on there, so saving for those if you can't finish it. You get those good ones that we get occasionally. Ooh. Oof. It's early. Sorry, guys. I need a video if I don't yawn in it, right? At least it was in the past. Um, but, yeah, com saving to complete the girl to get the girl at the end is kind of what it used to be the priority of doing. So just remember that. Uh, also, we get energy with it. It's just this time. It's 150. We complete all of them and get the, uh girl at the end so that's how much energy you get for that so if you're not doing your rolls and you finish this you have 150 energy to at least do the jackpot plus 10 every day so just remember that uh next up we have tech innovation this is like where every month you're saving up gems uh just like you are for lovely journey to to do that and to progress further getting those 30 wheels there but you're also saving for this right here because you can do it to make angel gear into class sets ladies and gentlemen that's important um, after you get enough class sets, you can make, uh, pink class sets for the girls, right? Which are better than normal class sets. You have to use two class sets to get to pink one, and you need four to get to pink three. I know that's a lot, I understand. And then, of course, you need meteorite shards, which are converted from ball bearings. I know that's weird, ball bearings and meteorite shards. I don't know where the hell they got that, but moving on on that, uh... You need 18 meteorite shards in total to make a pink three set plus three or four class sets. It's a lot, so uh, you can save up your ball bearings and in the shop convert them to meteorite shards or save up to get class sets, whatever you want to do. The only thing you shouldn't be doing, to tell you the truth, right now at this point, is trying to do these swaps to, to exchange where you get to exchange 
a class set for another one, so essentially you're picking a different one because you don't use one anymore. It's better at this point just to build the class sets than to do this feature. So uh, unless you're like really far in game and you have like six sets of everything, and then you need to switch one for because you don't use it that often anymore, and you're not you don't have enough class sets, I could see you doing that. But at this time, it's not worth it. So maybe in the future, a couple of years from now, people that have been playing for a while, stuff like that. <clears throat> Okay, well next up we have magic cards. Ladies and gentlemen, not this week, obviously, but next week we'll do magic card stream. It is probably the most fun we've ever had on this channel doing stuff. So, uh, if you haven't stopped by for one, I encourage you to do so because you guys get to pick what I pick and I'm at the mercy of you. So, essentially, it's interactive where you guys get to choose where I go and at the end of the day, whoever gets the most uh, ultimate reward picks gets to be called the Magic Card Champion on my Discord. And you get a cool little role. And it's... Because it's only, this only happens like every two or three months. It's a pretty big thing. People get to be the Magic Card Champion. And they usually brag about it. So stop by for that and participate. You have loads of fun, I promise. Everybody usually always does. And they're always excited when they get to be a part of this uh, little stream we do for this. Um, as far as the rewards go for this... Well, I should say this. You use 15 magic wands to flip over a card, and the ultimate board you pick will not be in the middle. It'll be random on the board. Some people say they know how they figured out where it goes. I've never figured it out. But essentially, it gets randomized, and you just keep picking until you pick it. Once you pick the ultimate board, it goes to the next round, and these are the rewards. It goes by rounds. Usually on round one, usually everyone picks ruins. 100% mostly, maybe some other weird thing, people pick something different. But we're usually always picking ruins because we need that because it's important. And then when we get to round two, if you're free or light spinners, it's encouraged to do ruins at round one. And then after that, to do capsules, to get those free capsules. I usually even do it on my main account. So do that. And then after that, people usually pick ruins because it's important. Unless they get to these further rounds and let's say, it is a, yes, it has happened. They get to round seven on free to play, right? They might grab a 70. Or Diana, something like that. Or they might be grabbing Izanami to help out and test at round five, you know. Or you get to round four and you're really early. Hey, grab those Mika copies, essentially, right? You know. But if you already have the Mika at LB five and you don't need it at round four, you could just be still getting um, ruins, right? Because ruins are really important. So just be aware of that. It, pick what you need for your account. Not everybody's going to be the same, but look at your account. Be like, what do I need the most? What am I lacking? And then grab that. And as you go down, it goes to round eight is Apates Angelicas. Round nine, class sets and doll boxes. Uh, round 10, the uh, orange outfit shard. It's, they're really pushing this outfit thing, but okay. Uh, round 10, antique selection box. I still don't know. The, uh, Tales of Time, I think it is, or whatever. Um, this antique, I still don't know use for it, so I don't know, but we'll see. And then we have a round 16, round 18. You know, usually people are only making it to round 12 if they are spending on it. So, but there are some people that like go way past this, but hey, it's whatever. Uh, and then of course you have your magic card boxes to buy. Uh, it's better to just buy like the $5 one every day. It used to be a limit of two, but I guess they nerfed that. But uh, just do, you could just do these two right here every day and it, it builds up over time and it's usually the cheaper option. Um, there's daily and weekly missions for this and a magic assistant you can attack to get uh, magic wands every day. So 45 from the boss and you get five, 10, 30 every day. And then of course you get a bunch here for, for completing your weekly stuff. Uh, it's five and six star girls made and rolls Consuming some gems and logging in for five days for the weekly one. So just be aware of that. You get those from doing that. Okay, next up we have the basic jackpot. There's a lot of stuff this week. I feel like this has happened before. Some sort of jackpot wheels, but I do not remember. I'm sure maybe someone in the comments will remember or something. I feel like we've had this event before. Or a similar thing to this. This might be a little bit different, but this is just weird. But okay. Essentially, you have the basic jackpot and super jackpot. You can unlock the super jackpot by paying $20, okay? Or you can spin it 40 times. This is what I would say. If you're a light spender, and if this is actually worth it, people talk about it, 
people are probably going to say it sucks because, you know, they can't get to the super jackpot unless you spend 40 times, which would take 200 energy just to get to the super jackpot. Or if you spend the $20, you automatically get into the super jackpot. So, unless you're doing already in rolls and you spend the $20 to get to the super jackpot quicker, it might be worth it that way to getting the rewards. I really don't know. So, we'll just have to wait and see. I'll do it on stream. I'll probably get the $20 thing to unlock it and we'll see how well I do. Um, depending on if it's worth it or not, but we'll see. Um, but essentially, you use five energy to get uh, to spin the wheel. And we'll show you a second when you spin the wheel what are the combinations you need to get um, uh, jack point, jack, jackpot points, which is there's a super jackpot and the basic one. So, the basic is blue and super is red. Um, you can exchange jackpot points to super jackpot points at a rate of one to one. So I guess if you unlock the super jackpot points, you the jack point. God, it's so hard to say. The jackpot points will convert one for one into the super jackpot points. Say that a bunch of times, guys. That gets hard after a while. And of course, we have. You can buy energy with 300 gems with standard packs, and then of course you can buy a limit of one for extra, and then the 20. But if two or more of the same girls displayed on the result, jackpot, jackpot points or super jackpot points will be rewarded based on which jackpot you are spinning from. If all girls are displayed and the results are different, a random, a random item reward will be given. So as long as there's two or more of the same girl on the thing, you will get rewards from it. So you get normal rewards and you get the lucky rewards, which are uh, coins to spin to get... Uh, reward. So as you use the jackpot points to draw from basic draw and super draw. After getting all the rewards, they will be re they will be reset. So right here, uh, five coins to spend one time. That's uh pretty crazy. I figured it'd just be one, but hey, okay. So we need fifty fifty coins to spend ten times. Pretty. That's insanely a lot. So. As we scroll down, we get these are our rewards for all this stuff. But a dish rewards can be granted based on the amount of times you draw from super draw, which are this right here. So 50 times 5, that's 250 coins you need. Uh, it's starting to question this a little bit. This kind of looks like it's going to suck ass, but. Whatever. We'll see what happens. I not not very enthusiastic now at this point. I was kind of a little bit. Hey, this might be a bit not bad. I'm starting to second judge my uh, judgment there. I'm thinking it wasn't that bad. But all right. So here are the rewards, guys. Good luck on getting them. We'll see. Um, class set at two sixty. And that's antiques. I'm really pushing that antique. I really don't know what to use it for, though. But, uh, all right, moving on. Uh, promotion program. This is actually not that bad, to tell you the truth. If you're a light spinner and you're just starting out the game, this is not actually that bad. We could have had a little bit better girl selection in here, but Holly's really good for PvP. Yes. PV um, Von Helsing's not bad either, to helping out with practical works. PvP. Um your house exam, stuff like that, she's not really bad at all. So if you're just starting out, you probably better choice here to pick is Von Helsing. But I like this event, and I think they should do it every month, to tell you the truth. Because it's basic rewards are for free, right? We get all these free rewards. Um, I know it's nothing special, but all these capsules add up over three weeks. It's great. Plus, the only, the, how you get this is just by logging in to doing your dailies every day. Uh, like, as long as you're logging in doing your dailies, you're getting reward, extra rewards on top of the rewards from your dailies. So, um, I, I like this event. And then if you spend the $30 over three weeks, you could get all these as well. That's not bad at all. That's, this is pretty good. I mean, it might be better if it's $20, but hey, it's still good for the price. So, if you're just starting out the game, probably best to do Von Helsing. If you're a little bit farther on in the game, you can pick whatever one you want. Probably Holly, you're the ones you're picking. But hey, this is not bad. This is a good event. So if you don't want to spend money and you're free to play, that's fine. Just take the free capsules where you can get it, right? 
Uh, Super Exchange, E-Saint, Kratos is not worth it. Uh, you're probably just doing the capsules one for one swap, and if you need resources, you're doing resources for that, so just do that. Red Riding Hood's Gift, this is uh, the $14.99 with the Ruins. Was it 10, seven, it's only 70. This is not as good as it used to be, but hey, it's still not a bad price. So if you want to get some of the stuff you can, it's up to you. And of course we have our normal value packs, special gift packs. Uh, remember if, if you're gonna buy 71 up top, get this one first, cause it's better value. And then of course we have our skin pack if you're collecting the skins. And of course, if you're probably this week, besides Red Riding Hood's gift, which usually has some good deals with it, good value to it, if you're light spender, just do the four ninety nine deals right here. This is probably going to be your best option. I know this is really long, ladies and gentlemen, but there's a lot to cover this week. Um, but we'll see for sure on how the super draw works. Um, I like the promotion program. I think that's good. And Monica and rolls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go to work, but hey, I hope you guys have a good day. And as always, stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.